Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's topic we are going to learn about how to deploy 7-zip in available mode on device connection. For that I have logged in my MECM server. First of all you have to download 7-zip application from any browser you can download. So here I am going to download 7-zip application. Here you have to download Windows 10 supported 7-zip MSI folder. So click on download. So here it is downloaded. Here you can see that 7-zip file. So I am going to copy this 7-zip application and go to C folder. Here you have to create one more folder and give name as applications. In that create one more folder and name as 7c. And open this folder and paste that application here. So right click on this application and click on rename and copy this name. Again click here, put a slash and paste this name. Make sure this folder is shareable so that I am going to back and right, right click on this application folder and click on share with and specific people. Here expand this one, click on everyone, click on add and give read and write access to this everyone. Then click on share. Here you can see the application shared path. Click on OK. Here we'll check this folder is shared or not. Yeah, now it is shared. While you are sharing, you have to add this extension as well. And go to our MECM console. Here you have to click on software library. In that application management. And expand this application management. And here you will get application option. Right click on it. And create application. And here you have to give that path. And then click on next. And ignore this. If it is coming, then click on yes. Click on next. And here you have to give software version will be 74.01 click on next and click on close Once added in the console, you can see it is still not distributed. So that's why you have to right click on the 7-zip application and click on distribute content. Then click on next, next and click on add.
and choose the distribution point here you can see the distribution point our distribution point is mecm.techsmartvision.com then choose this one click on ok click on next again next and let it complete see now it is completed if you click on close now right click on it and click on refresh let it refresh once it's done scroll down here you can see success so this 7 zip is now distributed in distribution point so now we have to create collection so for that we have to click on asset and compliance and right click on this device collection and create device collection and give name Seven zip install collection. Then click on browse and here choose all systems. And then click on OK. Click on next. Next, click on OK here. Okay, next and let it complete. Then you can close. Again, go to device collection. You can see our 7-zip install collection is created. Now we need to add device into this collection. For that, go to devices, here whatever the device you want to add or want to install 7-zip you can add by right clicking on the device like for example we have windows 10 machine so this client machine we are going to add and in that machine only we can install 7zip application so right click on it and click on add selected items in that select add selected items here click on 7zip collection click on ok Now again go to software library again right click on the 7 zip and click on deploy Now choose the collection here and choose device collection and here 7-zip install collection we have to choose and click on ok then click on next next and here you can install if if freshly if you are installing here you can install if already you have installed 7-zip by giving this uninstall option you can remove that software from the client machines and here also showing two options which is available and required required means forcefully installation if you are choosing required means it is a it will do the forceful installation on the client machines or else if you are giving here choosing available it means it will show on that software center if we required we can install or else we can ignore on the client machine so we are installing an available so we are putting this available mode only here then click on next even we can schedule the time we can set the time at that time only it will get installed in our case i am not doing this one click on next and here i would like to show the notification to the user so for that reason i am choosing this option display in software center and show all the notification to the user and click on next here we can create the 
failure alert message like if i'm putting 10 here it means if failure is more than 10 percent it will create the alert so click on next next let it complete and click on close here you can see the all setup is ready deployment type and status is active here it is showing even you can click on this deployment here you can see the 7 zip is here it is deployed the version and all here you can see so I uh, will do one thing we will go to our windows 10 machine so this is my window 10 machine and here have to click on the software center so now it is not showing any application here and here you have to wait for this sometime later it will come yeah here you can see now it is reflecting the 7 zip application is reflecting on our windows 10 machine let me click on it and here you can see it is showing install option here by clicking on this we can install the status and version the all the things and uh, storage and all here it is showing okay so click on install if you want to install by clicking on this install option we can install this 7-zip application so now it is installed even we are getting notification here so go to this start option and here we can search for 7-zip here you can see the 7-zip I'm opening that 7-zip application which one we have installed and now it is opening so it is successfully installed if you want to uninstall by clicking this uninstall option we can uninstall this application from here if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe for more content like this click on this subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated and thanks for watching see you in next lecture